in today's class we will discuss about pseudo hyponatremia so there is sodium which is there in the extracellular fluid major cation in the extracellular fluid is sodium so this extracellular uh, component has an aqueous component and a non aqueous component so normal distribution of aqueous is 93 percentage and the non aqueous component is 7 percentage so in some conditions like in hyper triglyceridemia as well as in hyperproteinemia hyperproteinemia like in multiple myeloma the non aqueous component will increase this component will increase non aqueous component will increase so what happens is so oh, uh, the sodium which is measured by flame photometry the serum sodium which is measured by flame photometry flame photometry measures both the aqueous and the non aqueous component of the sodium so flame photometry measures both sodium in the aqueous and the non aqueous so when there is an increase in the non aqueous component this aqueous component will be relatively less so normal 93 7 and this non aqueous component is increasing to some 20 percentage and aqueous component is reducing to uh, 80 percentage so the sodium which will be shown as a percentage of this aqueous, aqueous, um, aqueous component will reduce so if the sodium is measured by flame photometry in conditions where there is hypertriglyceridemia and hyperproteinemia because of the increase in the non aqueous component the measured sodium will be shown low because of the reduction in the percentage of the aqueous component but actually the amount of sodium will be normal if we selectively measure the aqueous component only because here we are taking it as a percentage since this percentage is increasing this percentage will decrease but if we selectively measures the aqueous component sodium only so there are electrodes which can measure the aqueous component sodium only so that is like a specific a serum um, specific electrodes measuring only the aqueous component uh, is measured then in that if we measure by that method we can find out that the sodium component is normal also it is found out by measuring that uh, the osmolality is normally if we, if we measure the osmolality in the pseudo hyponatremia condition it will be normal so that is how we differentiate so um, so summarizing pseudo hyponatremia to understand that we should know that plasma is 93 percentage aqueous and 7 percentage of non aqueous and sodium is more in the aqueous part of plasma so sodium ion concentration serum sodium is the plasma water uh, in the plasma water is a biological index so what so uh, usually sodium is measured by uh, flame photometry in which measures the whole uh, plasma uh, sodium which includes both the aqueous and non aqueous component what is we know the sodium is restricted only to the aqueous phase so when what happens is then the non aqueous component increases as in hypertriglyceridemia hyperproteinemia then the measured sodium will be low while the aqueous phase sodium will be normal if we specifically measure the aqueous phase sodium only so this is differentiated by knowing the plasma osmolality which will be normal so this is isotonic hyponatremia and this problem can be solved by using ion specific electrodes which measures only the aqueous serum phase sodium only which gives the true serum sodium so this is all about pseudo hyponatremia